YouTube, what's good? Big Curse Breakers, you know what it is. I need to tell you all this today. Please understand that these people are meant and supposed to go against you. Now, let me remind you, the negative forces, the devil, whatever you want to call them, the treacherous, the Decepticons, whoever you want to call them, they are purposely going to, and I'm talking about by the source of the evil, is going to send negativity and evil attacks on your spirit through the people you love and care about. But what do you expect? Yes, you already know you are the black sheep. And we're going to call you the black wolf because anybody who can relate to this understands that they feel better alone. They feel misunderstood, so they feel a little bit lonely. You know what I'm saying? And you kind of long, I mean, long for companionship, but you also understand how important your solitude is. You see what I'm saying? Now, listen, you being the black wolf, and I'm talking about the black wolf, the long wolf. Look at my leg. I hope it's not ashy. I got them tatted on me. I got it in 2018. Wisdom and silence, the owl and everything. Understand. You are still going to be the person who sits at the top of the mountain. And here's the thing. You're going to have that view, that overlooking cliffhanging view. And you're always going to feel like you're still being the one who's being watched. You know, every word you say, every step. People constantly wanting to be around you to check and experience your energy. And it is true. And this is why it's so important that you need to know yourself. Because you're going to realize that maybe mom and dad don't agree with what you're doing, trying to change your life, trying to seek the truth. Because you're constantly in the state of unlearning. You understand that you were just straight up given the name, the date, where you're born, where you're from, your birthday, and told and you know, kind of assimilate into this idea of that this is the way life is supposed to go. And the more you awaken and you kind of realize the synchronicity or the synchronization and everything around you as you awaken and you realize, you can feel it. It's almost like it's familiar to you. You got to understand this is what has been instilled from you since the jump. You were created for this. All you need to do is seek the truth to branch off even more and understand that you can stand alone. You just need to stand on all 10 and be willing to. So I want you to think about it for a second. There's going to be people who are going to hate on you. They could talk about you. Maybe they even physically attack you. And that's the worst of the worst. But I need you to understand that these are all only spiritual attacks. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. You can't let a naysayer convince you or change how you feel about what you truly believe in. And here's the thing, once you become so certain of yourself and what you believe in and your intuition, it's not going to be just a belief. It's going to be the fact that you know it. You see what I'm saying? It's the fact that you understand these things and you know it. So next time you feel the energy of someone who might be envious of you, someone who might look at you a little bit different, someone who won't give you credit even though you deserve it. What Drake say? I know I deserve more. I just never said it simple that's probably your life i get it i'm the same way i understand you do so many great things you have such a positive impact and you feel like you don't get a lot of credit for that but here's the thing i had to understand about a year and a half ago is am i doing this because of the credit or am i doing this so that the next lone wolf can understand what it feels like and be willing and almost be eager to stand alone because you see that there's power in that you understand that not only is there power in standing alone, but there's power in silence. Because the attacks are going to come, you're going to be provoked. You know what I'm saying? They provoke Jesus. They provoke every chosen one. They provoke the 144,000. You're constantly being devoted. It's just that stage, just that frequency. It's constantly going to hit you to steer you off of your path, and it's your job to stay forward and stay focused. And you may veer off, but I need you to understand. Don't let the words take you away from the purpose and from your heart. Don't let them take you out your element. Don't let them take you out your zone. Because here's the thing. Words carry frequencies. If anyone on here who's watching this video has studied Lloyd Strayhorn, you know, he studied, he does epige epigenetics, uh, numerology, astrophysics. Anyone who's into, into quantum physics, he's a great person to really understand numbers. And he really taught me a lot about numbers. But anyways, 
not just numbers, but words, letters, everything. They hold frequencies. So not only are you being attacked by just the word, but every single letter in that word holds a certain frequency that you might not feel right away, but it's going to hit you at some point subconsciously. Not only that, but even when you read. So think about it. What if someone provokes you? You hear the words, you feel the words, but you're also visioning in your head because I have things like things like that happen to me where I visualize what someone said to me. And then, you know, you're fine. And then all of a sudden, 10 minutes to 24 hours later, you're wondering why you're feeling so off. You're wondering why you're triggered. What exactly is that? And what I need you to understand is that it's just nothing but a spiritual attack. And they're going to keep coming. They're going to keep coming. And the only reason why you feel like you are seeing valleys is because you keep climbing and you keep moving the highest mountains. That's it. The only reason why you keep seeing valleys is because you are moving and climbing the highest mountains. So, of course, you're going to keep seeing valleys. I don't need you to be distracted by distractions. I need you to be amazed by what's in front of you. Because I promise you, once you get through it and you look back, you're going to be amazed by what you just moved and what you climbed and what you got over and went through. And the next valley you come into contact with and you see... I don't want you to look at it as something that you have to go deep down under and figure out and dig yourself up out of, even though that's what you might have to do. Look at it as a learning experience. Look at it as something that you can gain everything from. Look at it as a way to know yourself better. Look at it as a way to really figure out who's supposed to be around. Appreciate the journey. Appreciate the level up. The journey is the destination. See what I'm saying? The journey is forever the destination. I just need you to know that they're going to keep coming. They're going to keep coming. And it's going to be more so in the form of words coming from the people you love and care about. Or the people who you used to look up to. They're going to usually be the ones who let you down. You know how that goes. You've probably been let down as a kid already. That probably caused a lot of childhood trauma. That you're just now, you know, unraveling, unlearning, breaking through, observing and not absorbing. Because you've already absorbed before, you see what it has gotten you, and now you're bigger and you're better and you're ready to do better. So what I need you to do before I end this video, I just want you to do one thing. Whatever it is, those words, the attack, the energy, I need you to still remember and know that you are you and wherever that attack is coming from, it ain't nothing personal. Is validation. Distraction is validation. You only being distracted, you only being provoked because the enemy has to do anything they can to get you off your game because I promise you, if you make it to whatever you want to call it, you get that gold medal to the finish line, you know, the promised land, you know, using your voice, discovering your gifts, and you're able to stand and use it and stand strong and believe and be firm, there's no stopping you. And here's the thing, the enemy knows that already, but do you understand that about you? Because if you understand that about you, I promise you, you're not going to let your foot up off the gas. Once you realize that, I promise you, you're not going to let your foot up off the gas. Because you got to understand, you're not running from what's behind you. You're running toward what's ahead of you. And the enemy cannot stand that more than anything. The enemy hates that. I don't even use the word hate. That's not in my vernacular. There's nothing that can draw my feelings toward it so much to where I hate it. No, they don't have that power over me. But the enemy, remember how powerful you are. The enemy, they absolutely hate when you stay focused and you stay locked in. And think about what happens. You quantum leap. You make things happen a lot faster. You make something happen in 2025 that was supposed to happen in 2027 if you were still on that low frequency. You see what I'm saying? You're still going to get there, but you could get there just a little bit faster if you be honest, you be transparent. And you continue to know yourself, know thyself, and step in that. Because the more you know yourself, you know that a lot of those attacks don't even pertain to you. It ain't nothing personal. You're not internalizing anything anymore. This is not the eight-year-old you. Just a grown version of you who is ready to be great, who is ready to show the world that they can also be believers in themselves again. Do not give up because I promise you someone is looking at you right now 
admiring everything about you, the fact that you won't give up. So please give yourself that benefit. But all my curse breakers out there, please like and subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, whatever. I appreciate you. I'm at 2,000 subscribers now, a little bit over 2,000. Thank you so much. But um, don't let these people steer you off of your path anymore. You're better than that. You're bigger than that. What the Most High has in store for you, I promise you, anything that someone has done to you that's negative, just know that your get back is going to be the greatest thing ever. And all you got to do is just worry about your journey and your success will take care of everything. Your mental health rising will take care of everything. Your financial situation getting better. Your relationship status improving will get better and take care of everything. Just don't give up. Please keep going. You are too capable. Let's get it.